For the diagnosis of NASH, you need a liver biopsy because by definition, it's non-alcoholic cytohepatitis, and that's a word that you can only use if you have a pathology sample. Otherwise, we call it non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And we, uh, you know, it depends uh, what stage you are in diagnosing the patient or screening the patient. You can use non-invasive tools to look for advanced fibrosis. Liver biopsy, in general, to diagnose anything in liver disease, including NASH, uh, can have uh, complications, like any invasive procedure that we do to our bodies. Some of the complications include uh, bleeding, infection, uh, or perforation or other organs, depending on the direction of the needle. Right, right now, those risks are low. Those risks are small because we use radiology to guide the needle, but otherwise, those are some of the things that could happen in terms of complications. Some of the complications for with liver biopsy, uh, having pain, bleeding, and very, very rarely death. However, patients are usually scared of it. They don't want to go through the pain, as well as the rare episodes of bleeding. Um, in addition, liver biopsy is, co is costly. It requires radiology, going to outpatient procedure, keeping the patient uh, for a few hours, which causes a huge inconvenience for the patients. And that's why non-invasive testing have been, uh, been investigated thoroughly. Although it might be available in many areas, there are multiple issues with it as well, like the availability of the pathologist who's gonna read it. And this pathologist should be familiar with NAFOLD and NASH. And as I said, there are a very large number of these patients. Once therapies become available, it might become impractical to do liver biopsies on these patients that is costly, not accessible to everyone with pathology radiation. And that's why the research for non-invasive testing has been very active and have shown good results. Some of the uh, non-invasive diagnostic tests that have been used in NAFLD and NASH, especially to look for advanced fibrosis, are, uh, can be divided in two categories. The first one is imaging-based. The second one is serum-based. Let's start with those that are endorsed by the American Association of Liver Disease. Uh, they endorsed FIB4, NAFLD fibrosis score, transient elastography, and a elastography. If we want to talk about the imaging, the most common two, transient elastography and a model elastography. Transient elastography is a machine-like, an ultrasound machine-like that can detect steatosis as well as fibrosis or stiffness. It gives you quantitative measure of these two components, which is steatosis and fibrosis. In addition, you can follow longitudinally these measurements to see if there are any changes. A model elastography is MRI-based test that uses a special software to detect stiffness of the liver, which reflects fibrosis. Actually, it can be combined with another software called MRI protein density fat fraction that quantify fat as well. So combining these methods can also give you an accurate idea about steatosis and fibrosis, which is reflected by stiffness. Pros and cons, one of the problems with the MRI elastography and PDFF that is cost, costly and requires specialized centers. If we want to talk about the serum-based, FIB4 and NAFL fibrosis score, again, they're endorsed by American Association of Liver Disease. FIB4 relies on simple blood test, platelet count, ALT, AST, and patient's age, so as NAFL fibrosis in addition to diabetes status. It can be calculated via the labs that you have in regular visits. Non-invasive testing is actually pretty effective. Uh, we use transient elastography, MRI elastography, uh, for example. Uh, they tend to be pretty accurate. Having said that, it's still a non-invasive method, so um, it could have uh, overestimation and even underestimation in some cases of fibrosis. In terms of blood testing for uh, trying to determine how much fibrosis uh, there is. Uh, you could use a liver panel that includes uh, the liver enzymes and also look at a CBC panel with platelets. And um, there are other more commercialized 
blood uh, samples that you could use. And with uh, algorithms, you can combine the, the results of those numbers and determine if there's, there could be advanced fibrosis without having to do a liver biopsy or even a transient elastography, a non-invasive method.